Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, June the 15th, 2011. Well, the change of trend today, we have a candle that's made a lower high and a lower low. Very large red body candle that denotes the sellers making very strong net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. So the bearish sentiment has re-entered the market. We've also had this market closing down towards the low of the candle, so the sellers have closed this market in control, and they've shown strong commitment to taking this market lower. Now, the market did find support at the 1265 region, and we did find support there previous at this uh, swing low, previous swing low, where we had this indecisive type candle. Today, we had a very bearish candle, and the market failed to close below that 12, uh, uh, or just below that 1265 region. It's just tip below there actually. We did have a loss of commitment from the sellers as we traded down below there and we could see the small shadow on the bottom of the candle but that's not terribly uh, significant. If the market does continue trending down and we remember we have had quite a bearish day, if we do continue trending down we don't have any solid support until the market trades to around 1246.73 and uh, roughly around this uh, previous major swing low around 12.49 so not a lot of support until we get down to those levels below there no major support until we trade to 12.32 so uh, if this um, sell-off uh, begins to pick up even more momentum to the downside then we could see the S&P substantially lower now in Ichimoku charts terms we are trading down below the cloud and we are a fair way down below the cloud, so the market has an overall negative bias in big picture terms. We can also see that we have a very well established second time frame downtrend. We have a series of lower peaks and lower troughs, and once again in the last two days, the market has established another lower peak and a lower trough as we took out the previous trough at roughly 12.65. So very, very bearish in the medium term time frame, and it's been quite some time since we've seen the market. Uh, that bearish, so that confirms this bearish breakout that we had down below the Kumo. The market is also trading down below the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, and uh, that denotes the market being bearish in the medium term and fast term time frames. Both of those indicators are pointing down fairly sharply as well, and that's reflecting the strong downside momentum that we have in this market at the moment. Now for the next trading day, obviously to the downside, 1265 and just below there, 1262 is very important for any potential test down to around the 1246, 1249 region. So if we do see the lower highs and lower lows continue, then as I said, we could see significantly lower levels. To the upside, obviously the high of the current candle, which is trading right at the Tenkan Sen, at 1287 is very important for a potential retest back up above uh, to higher levels and we can see previously that we had on these three candles the shadows on the top of the candles representing downside price rejection so we have a large area of resistance that extends from roughly around these highs around 1288 1289 up to 1300 the round number so a very significant amount of resistance overhead so um, interesting trading days for the uh, uh, next few days ahead.